be a success at number 10 or number 20 or number 99. We have to help them and ourselves find out what are we good at and then say, I'm going to do it well and then say to ourselves, you're a success because you're doing well at what you're good at. Is that okay? That does not give you kids an excuse not to do your homework. Okay? That is not what I'm saying, all right? We're saying, let's find out a good area in our life. So I took me as a child, because you have to fill out your paper as a child. Now, this means you must reflect, you must remember, you must have self-awareness, all right? You must think back on your childhood. On my childhood, I put, I love playing organizing. Now, let me explain what I did. When I was a small child, they had these little... Um, paper kitchens, you know, it was a box that looked like a refrigerator, and you open the box, and then they had a little box that looked like a stove, and they had little things where you put your dishes. It was made of paper then. Now we have little tykes, and it's made of this strong plastic, and it looks, but when I was my age, back, you know, when they had dinosaurs, they made everything out of boxes. <laughs> so I would play with my little kitchen, okay? But what was unusual when I reflected back on my playtime, the way I played, okay? I did not play, you get out the dishes and you cook the food and you did, no, 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 no. I still don't like the cook the food part. I mean, I do it because you must eat or you die. But that was not my thing. What did I like to do? When I played cooking, I played, I would get up and if my, if my little square box and I'd open it up, that stored all my dishes, if everything in there was thrown and messed up, I couldn't take it. My whole playtime would be organizing the plates all in the same sizes, then organizing the bowls and stacking them in the right place inside of there, then getting out the other things to fit and make them stack so nicely, and my whole time was organizing the inside of the box. Then when I got everything organized, I was done. When I played with Barbie dolls, Everybody played and did the whole nine thing. All I did was organize the little boxes where you put the clothes. I had everything in little baggies, and all the shoes were together in a baggie, and all the little this is in a baggie, and all that. Ask my children. They're games from when they were tiny, tiny. Everything's in Ziploc baggies. Never lose a piece, right? Put it all back in the little place it came in, right? That's why they still have all their pieces. <laughs> This goes back to when I was a child. Now, if you must realize, sometimes you're opposite of what your parents were. If you go to my mother's house, she'll understand. I don't know how I became this child because my mother is total opposite. You just stack it and pile it and go. But when I, when I was developed the way God made me, he made me to love to organize and plan as a child. I realized, man, I had those aptitudes when I was young. You give me a notebook, and I loved dividing it and putting the little dividers in there and labeling the dividers and making my notebook just so this with everything. And, I, you know, that's how I played. Okay? I played, I remember when I was young playing the piano at a talent show. I remember practicing one number so I could play it. I didn't have a lot of other numbers I could play, but I practiced that one thing so that I could do it at the talent show, and that was my big accomplishment. And I remember when I was playing, I thought I didn't do a good job because everybody in the audience was talking, and I sat there, and they couldn't see me, and I was playing this thing I'd practiced for who knows how long. And, I, and while I'm playing, I'm crying because they're all talking, and they obviously don't like what I'm doing. What I didn't realize until afterwards is that they were talking because they thought it was good. They couldn't believe I was so young and doing that little thing. I remember writing a poem. That was during the time after Martin Luther King was shot, and we had a big contest going on in, in uh, the state of Illinois. Through, in fact, it was all throughout America. And they were asking young students to write poems about Martin Luther King, and they wanted sent in to Washington, and they were having a contest. And I wrote a poem for him, and it was selected. And they read my poem, and it was put in the big whatever for Martin Luther Day. I remember when I was a young girl, 
that I was in grade five, and my teacher, the teacher that I was assisting, I was a teacher's assistant because I loved to play teacher. I liked writing all the lessons on the board. I liked drawing the lines. I liked planning how exactly the class was going to operate. And I used to volunteer my time for the teacher. Think about things you used to do when you were a kid that you did well. And I got everything organized, and, and one day we had a big snowstorm, and I was in grade five, and the teachers could not make it in, and they had a lot of primary one children and primary two children, and they called me out of my classroom, and the principal, principal asked me if I would substitute for primary one. And I never was scared. I said, I can do this. And I taught the class and made them do their work and had everything on the board and stuck them in the corner when they were naughty. <laughs> and I remember thinking back on that, that's incredible. Who would have let a five, grade five teach a grade one? They must have been nuts. But that's memories from childhood. And if you will reflect back on that, now it shows me that I still love to organize, that I still love music that I still enjoy creativity, writing poems or reading good novels or literary works, I still enjoy that. That I still like to do things that are related to teaching, okay? So that's what you do for your childhood. Let's go to youth. Youth, we look at Moses as a youth. He still had an affinity for higher learning. In fact, we know that he hated injustice because that's why he killed the Egyptian. He saw the Egyptian having, doing injustice to the Hebrew, and so he hated injustice. And so as a result, he said, you're not going to treat that Hebrew like that, and he killed the Egyptian. He loved to settle disputes. Even in his youth years, he saw two Hebrews fighting, and they said, who are you? Why are you sticking your big nose into this? Go do your own thing. But that was his makeup. God made him this way, and in his youth years, everybody could see the type of character that he had. In fact, during his youth years, he fled, and he went into the wilderness because of him trying to settle injustice in his own way, not in God's way. He flew into, he went into the, into the wilderness, and there he met the da seven daughters of the priests of the Midian who were drawing water, and while they're drawing water for sheep, the shepherds come and they try to bully them. And he steps right in the middle of that and says, there's injustice here. I'm not going to have it. And he steps up to help them. That was his character. So as a youth, he hated injustice. He hated uh, disputes. And he had an affinity to learn more and more. That was in his youth years, my, my youth years. Well, during my youth years, I still obviously like to organize and do things because I was the head of the yearbook staff. I decided I wanted to try to make a yearbook for the school, and so I got involved in that. That's still using a lot of creativity, so that seemed to be my character. I love to travel. In my youth years, at age 17, I flew to Africa by myself. Well, 17, I went to the Caribbean, and then... And then I, when I, before I turned 18, I went to Africa by myself and visited some missionaries there. Then I went and celebrated my 18th birthday in London by myself with my parents' credit card. It was great. <laughs> and uh, so I loved to travel, even when I was a youth. I always thought I'd be a missionary to Africa. And then I married him, and he was going to Asia. <laughs> so that's how I ended up here. Um, I loved... Uh, Representing people, I was on the student council. Uh, I graduated from my A-levels early, and I took those same credits, and I put them on my university and graduated from university early. Not bad. Think about some things that you know you did well as a youth. What kind of things have you done that you've done well and you've enjoyed doing? This shows some of your abilities that God's given to you in your life that you can use for his glory and you won't have stress, all right? Let's look at him as an adult, Moses. Moses as an adult. As an adult, he ends up dismantling Pharaoh's whole kingdom, all right? He unshackles the Hebrews in one night. He takes over three million plus people out 
One man, who would have thought?